Hello, welcome to Firepower Threat Defense training video series. I am Nanda. In this video, we are going to look at an example of how to configure AGL that is enabling or disabling inspect protocol using a flex configuration. So on this Firepower Threat Defense, I have these default inspect protocol enabled on the uh, policy, policy map. So let's take again example that I want to disable ICMP and ICMP error. Let's see uh, what is that I need to do with uh, flex configuration. So in order to do that, I first needs to create a variable uh, that is text variable for these two parameters that is um, ICMP and ICMP error which I'm going to use it in flex configuration object. So um, I can create a new object or use the existing object and then just reduce the value to ICMP error. So um, let me create a new val uh, value. Inspect and then since I'm going to uh, negate or remove two protocols, I'm going to say multiple and then count as two value. So I can say so I'm going to um, negate ICMP and ICMP error. Let's take one more example. Um, I want to remove RSH. So these are the three protocols that we want to negate from policy map. So uh, we have defined it, now which you can see it here. Now uh, let's go to the flex configuration and then um, I can use the predefined template uh, which is uh, default inspect protocol disable. I'm going to, uh, instead of using this, I'm going to take a copy of it. Uh, then say my policy and then um, instead of uh, using this particular variable which is referring to the uh, default text variable I'm going to insert the text object that I have defined so I'm going to give a name for this variable and then um, select the text variable which I have um, which I have defined so it has, as you can see that the variable has been rec um, called here and then which will be used here. Using this for loop, um, the number of uh, number of protocol that we, we had used, it runs that many times. We, we have, since we have used three variables, it, uh, the for loop runs for three times. And each time when uh, it checks whether the protocol is enabled on the device, if, if it is enabled, then it negates the protocol using the CLI, no inspect followed by the protocol let's um, and then let's um, I can say that it's uh, this has to be deployed only once and then it is prepend let me save this configuration and then go to the device and flex configuration where I need to create a new flex configuration policy I'm going to let's assume that I'm going to assign this to uh, 5 power 2130. Once you go here, you can see that uh, whatever the policy that you created has uh, has been populated on the user defined. I'm going to assign that to the device. Uh, since we had marked this as prepend, it, it went to the bucket of a prepend flex configuration. I can save this and then uh, check what is the CLI that will be generated by this flex configuration. So as you could see the flex configuration prepend CLI, you can see that uh, it, is, it is creating, these are the CLI that will be sent to the device, uh, class map and then no inspect ICMP, ICMP error and then RSH. Um, let's push this configuration to the device and uh, see whether it has veri uh, verify, that, verify on the device. So as you could see that the changes are happening on the flex configuration module and let's deploy the device.
now that deployment is successful let's go to the device and verify uh, before that we can also verify on the deployment uh, history as you could see that in the deployment history the the CLI side went successfully and then without any error we can go to the device uh, and verify if it is if those CLS have been negated uh, as you could see that ICMP has gone and then RSHS also uh, has been negated from the device now uh, let's try to put back the configuration uh, back into the device uh, in order to the, do that uh, unlike access control policy or the NAT if you uh, delete the policy or unassign the device uh, the NAT or ACL would uh, put back the device in the original state um, we can't do that here uh, if you just delete this uh, it does not mean it is going to uh, bring back the old configuration you have to again write uh, proper flex configuration to put back the CLI that you wanted example let's take now um, I want to enable back ICMP and ICMP error so in that case then have to uh, either use the same um, object and then uh, remove RSH and then um, use the variable um, use the variable on uh, new flex objects I mean either I can create new flex object or uh, use the template here to enable inspect I'm going to use this uh, new object uh, template so here in the pre template I'm going to uh, change this default um, variable to a variable that I have created So you can see that um, ICMP and ICMP error variable has been called out here as a enable protocol and then uh, for every loop it checks um, uh, how many times how many variables are there and uh, at that many times this for loop is going to run and then uh, it enables every protocol that we have defined on the variable. So let's we have def defined uh, define the variable uh, now let's use that in the flex configuration so instead of uh, using that uh, disable I'm going to use the enable flex object save the configuration check the preview so in the pre uh, append section you can see that uh, it is enabling back the ICMP and ICMP error let's deploy the device deploy to the device and then check the configuration Now the deployment is successful uh, we can verify the deployment transcript uh, where you can see that the policy the CLI that we intend to send are, are here uh, we can verify that in the device as well so you can see that um, ACMP has been enabled back on the policy map with this uh, we have come to the end of this video in the next part we are go I'm going to show you example on how to enable or configure EIGRP using a flex configuration. Thank you.